when you came into Game of Thrones, what yeah. was the brief they kind of gave you? What did they tell you that they were kind of trying to um, accomplish help, with this? Basically, <laughs> help, you know. Um, I was very lucky because we had obviously uh, a, a very strong producer over in Belfast, Mark Huffham. And Mark introduced me to David and Dan. We were shooting um, a film over there in Belfast and, he, and they brought the guys on set. I said, I'm possibly doing a pilot of a show. It's oh, fantastic. So I had a look at the script. He handed me the script to see, can you have a look at that and you know, and uh, read it? And I was like, I was so busy on, on your highness that I sort of said, listen, I'll, I'll get back to you about it. And I, I was going to turn it down because I was too busy on the one. So I looked at it again, ah, you know what we'll do? We'll do the pilot. So the brief was nothing really. There was no brief on it, just that tried to help design and make and create um, the weapons and the look and the style of the world, knowing that it was like a medieval period-ish with dragons and so it was sort of within that world, a believable world. Um, and then obviously I had a good, nice old meal with, with David and Dan, um, obviously the showrunners and the writers and directors as they were, and um, they just basically said, Help, basically. <laughs> but you said that's. I mean, that's not not too many people were there from the beginning. I mean, you've seen it evolve yeah. into this yeah. kind of monster. After a couple of years, did you get a sense of okay, this is this is a big well, deal? I, I, I actually loved the pilot, and nobody else did. So it's like the pilot was never seen. So it's uh, so obviously I've no, you know, credibility at all whatsoever. But um, you, you could you could sense it, especially when the one time what happened to us. I mean, I felt the person who was when Sean Bean was beheaded. You know, Ned Stark. Because Sean was such an influence on the set and such a, you know, he's a, he's a fantastic actor. But his presence on set and the fact that if he's acting on set and when he cut his head off, you're going, that's it, it's over. <laughs> There's no more work. <laughs> because straight away you thought, who's going to now be number one? You know, and so it was like, then it got better and better and better. So it was unbelievable, really. Every year just seemed to be chaotic. Yeah, so he, he always chaotic. dies in his movies anyway. So well, he does, he does. He does. Yeah, he does. <laughs> and in terms of the training, and then, I mean, who, who, was the, who was the easiest to train, who was the hardest to train? Or was there someone that you, you had to take a lot of time with or someone well, that was quite... I'm sort of looking at my end because obviously we, start, we got a, such a, um, a strong and very uh, large um, stunt team. They would look after 99% of the training. So basically I would create the weapon. They might come in and say, oh... What are we going to do with this? I said, <laughs> just make it look good. So my end was to do was the archery. I said, I did all the archery and the crossbow training. So all the actors that needed that, you know, Yigrit and the uh, and same Isaac as well when he was a kid, Maisie when she was a kid, and all that kind of scenario. And then later on, if they need archery, so I would look after that because it was it was much more to do with the aesthetic and the feel of it. And then obviously then the stunts did all the breakdown towards the fighting and that kind of scenario. So it was lucky. It was a nice little crossover, and it was no. No drama to it. Yeah. Just as a final question, then now you're kind of detached from it a little bit. Do you look back? Do you have a fondest kind of memory from from working on the show? Um, it's all been fun. I mean, it's one of the things where I've enjoyed every bit of it. It's been ten years of my life. Um, not so much meeting with the actors. It's been good fun. But the fact that as a department with an army department, we sort of overlooked a lot. We're just like the the knuckleheads that get on with the guns and, and that kind of scenario. Obviously, well, we don't. But so our end of it is making and designing these beautiful weapons so that there is skill out there. They're all handmade, they're all crafted. So it's like one of the things where it's just to show that the, the work is available, you know, and it's and, and, and it's there to be done. So I've loved all the weaponry and I loved all the situations that we've been in, all the training, all the locations, all the, the filming. So it's been a, it's been a good, old, uh, good ride. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!